All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC 13 and Legendary Pack 2 tutorial videos. Today, going to be showing you guys how to unlock everything, literally everything paid, literally everything free, anything that you could ever dream of or confused about. This is the tutorial video for you. So it's going to be pretty basic in general in terms of the breakdown for everything. Uh, I'm going to show you guys first and foremost how to unlock everything and then i'll you know do a showcase of what all this stuff looks like so uh currently right now i'm rocking the kale the kale drip it's looking kind of clean looking kind of nice so let's go ahead and go to our offline parallel quest i guess we'll kind of go over everything paid first and then we'll get into the free stuff later if you haven't already unlocked it so first of all paid okay you do need to buy dlc pack 13 aka it's titled legendary pack 2 you have to purchase that. If you don't have that, then you can't unlock, unlock all this stuff that I'm going to be showing you guys today. So, let's go ahead and go over to the new parallel quest. We have four new ones. Caulifla's Saiyan Search. So, this will have an RNG drop of Caulifla's clothes, her wig. We have artworks 170, 181, 191, and all of Caulifla's new skills, which she only has three skills. Crush Cannon, Double Crush, and Crush Stream. So, let's go ahead and check out the second one here, finding out about Fusion. So, this one will unlock all of Kale's stuff. So, we have Kale's clothes, her wig. We have a new Super Soul, the My Back's Getting Tingly. I, be, I believe these are both uh, their Super Souls as well, if I didn't already mention that. Uh, we have the artwork 158, artwork 177, artwork 240, Blaster Cannon, Blaster Bomb, and Blaster Stream. Now, moving on, we have Clash of the Clones. We have all of Kid Bulma's clothing. So something that we need to make note of with Kid Bulma's clothing. Uh, to my knowledge, from what I saw and what I equipped, it only works for females. Same thing with End of Z Trunks clothing. It only works for males. I was not able to equip it for a female. Uh, I don't know if that was like my game's glitch or whatever, which uh, usually you, you would be able to equip it for a female, but I don't know. It's weird. Whatever. doesn't matter. Um, our two strengths just aren't, aren't just added together. So I believe that's a that might be a Kefla Super Soul. Then we have Artwork 166, Artwork 167, Artwork 168, and then all of Gogeta's skills, the Comet Strike and Meteor Explosion. So if you want to know how to get Gogeta's skills, there you go. He only has two. And then this one is mainly for uh, Jiren which is Battle of the Mind, I Will Prevail No Matter the Cost, so that's his Super Soul, as well as Artwork 192, 226, 243, Impact Flare, and Power Wall. So those are all of the uh, paid updates in terms of, uh, I guess, like the skills, the costumes, uh, artwork, as well as uh, Super Souls and stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, what else we got working with us in terms of uh, our equipment. So I can kind of just show you guys it. So like I said, Kale's clothing and everything. Uh, I do have a couple of presets here if you want to check them out. So let's go and check them out. So this is what Bulma's clothing looks like. Uh, kind of like a full build of that. Uh, I have currently all of the uh, skills equipped. It's, it's just funny seeing, uh, you know, this this version of her uh, in the game. I absolutely love the original Dragon Ball. So we also have Cauliflow's clothing set. She has a massive wig that you can wear. Uh, I showed the Kale one, and then we also have Bergamo's costume and stuff, which that is part of the free uh, update. So, again, all of those main things are going to be paid. Bergamo and End of Z Trunks are free things that will be unlockable through raids. Okay, so uh, just to make note of that, again, if you want to unlock all of Bergamo's as well as End of Z Trunks clothing and stuff, you're going to have to do those through uh, the raids that are currently going on uh, right now. And there'll be, I think it's like a five-year anniversary raid consecutively. Uh, I'll put up on screen or in the description or I'll pin it in the comments, uh, a link to it if you want to be able to uh, see actually what you need for the drop of it. I'll update you guys as those go live so you get you know, you get the specifics of how many points you're going to need for it. But there you go. There is uh, Bergamo's costume set. Looks like the wig, it's going to include the tail. So those of you that just wanted the tail and didn't want the wig, I'm sorry. That's just that's just how it's going to be. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. I know. People are going to be kind of pissed about that. But yeah, I mean, uh, you get the general breakdown of it. So Kid Bulma's costume uh, to get a better look of it. Uh, she doesn't have any pants, which is really weird. <laughs> so you just give her DB super clothes. 
I don't know wh why th they made it like that. They could have just had like, I don't know, at least like underwear or something. I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird, bro. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the, uh, oh, if you want to make DB Super Kid Bulma Fusion thing or whatever. But yeah, um, I digress with that. Let's go ahead and go over all the skills. As you can see, we have all the skills unlocked here. Uh, there are a lot of them. Impact Flare, Crush Cannon, Double Crush, Blaster Cannon, and Blaster Bomb. Those are going to be all of your new uh, Super Key Blast. Uh, there's only one strike. <laughs> it's the Comet Strike. It's literally a strike in the title. So that's one of Gogeta's skills. And then when you get to Ultimate Attacks, we have uh, a good amount. We have four new Ultimates. I believe Power Wall, Meteor Explosion, Crush Stream, and Blaster Stream. Now, with Strike Skills, there are no new Strike Skills. There are only four uh, new Ultimates that were added. So, um, obviously, you know, Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan God. Still weird that it has FEMA on there. Uh, no new evasives. From what I saw, I looked through, had everything unlocked, no new evasives at all. So, if you want to know, okay, how to unlock uh, some of the new TP Metal Shop stuff, those are the dual ultimates, okay? Now, again, I'll put up the dates on screen where you guys can see there's going to be a TP Metal Shop lineup that will uh, be resetting throughout uh, the next couple of weeks. So, every single week or like at least like three to four day period, it's going to reset and there's going to be a new line of Super Souls, artwork, CC mascots, and as well as the dual ultimates. So, uh, you just talk to this guy. Um, usually, you're going to have to like rotate through everything or whatever. Uh, as you can see, like we have pretty much all the Super Souls or whatever. <laughs> Again, it's not going to show up on, on mine right now because it's going to be changing, like I said, throughout uh, the rest of the days. But uh, you should be able to get dual ultimates and shit through skills. Uh, get new artwork, super souls, all that good stuff. There are no clothing or accessory that you can unlock through TP Metal Shop, but that's the main thing if you want to be able to unlock all of the dual ultimate skills, uh, which are just, you know, existing skills and stuff. So, uh, as you can see, the new ones, I can't remember exactly which ones are new. I think it maybe starts at, like, Burning Strike or something like that. But uh, Divine Lasso, I'll just kind of list. These are all the, you know, uh, strike-based dual ultimates. And then we have all the key base, which there are a lot of them. <laughs> there are a lot of them. I know Meteor Explosion, Gigantic Roar, uh, you know, Remote Serious Bomb. I think I think that was added. I could be wrong. But yeah, uh, I'll probably showcase those in a different video just because I think there are a lot of them or whatever. But uh, other than that, those are all the, you know, ultimate attacks uh, for dual ultimates that you can actually unlock. And again, those are obtained through the TP Metal Shop. Okay, so I think for the most part, we got all that, you know, out of the way in terms of costume skills, everything. Again, for uh, the free update, it's going to be um, Bergamo's costume and End of Z Trunks costume, which I'm going to show the End of Z Trunks costume uh, whenever I switch over to the male version or whatever. Because, again, it's only exclusive for males for whatever reason. So, let's go ahead and go over to, uh, I guess, artwork. Uh, there's a lot of artwork, okay? Uh, there... For the paid, you don't get too much. I think it was like maybe like 15 to 20 new artworks or whatever. But I think for uh, the uh, free update, there was a shit ton that were put in. And uh, most of it is going to be most likely either TP Metal Shop or raids. The new raids that are going to be going on. So like I said, five, uh, five consecutive weeks, there's going to be a new raid. Each raid will be dropping new stuff. I already probably showed on screen uh, you know what you can unlock. But I think for um, the first raid, it's Cauliflower and Kale, and you can get the End of Z Trunks outfit. And then for the second raid, it's going to be Full Power Jiren, and you can get Bergamo's outfit and his wig. Okay, and then for the rest of them, I think it's just like, you know, artwork and like Super Souls and stuff. But yeah, we have, <laughs> we definitely have a lot of artwork. Like literally every character in the game got their new artwork, which is pretty freaking sick so i'll kind of just uh you know slowly run through all of them i believe it started at we still don't have artwork 156 and i believe 157 i think those are the ones that were never given out yet i could be wrong let me know down in the comments but let's go ahead and full screen these so i already have a video i love this black and white one that's sick <laughs> i already have a video look at how cute he bought dude broly folds ball's ear bro freaking dion said that <laughs> He's fa like father, like son. His father, Paragus, folded uh, Ba. That's oof. So, yeah, there seems to be... I don't know why there's a black and white, like, manga version of it. But just... I'll kind of slowly scroll through these. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Amazing from the Broly movie. Same thing with this one. All gotta be, I think, Fenyo art. 
Uh, that, I think, is from Dragon Ball Legends. It's like a background artwork. Love the Kale and Cauliflower one. Looks amazing. Uh, this one is fire. Absolute fire. Uh, rip Stardust Rain in this game. Still don't have it yet. This one is hilarious. Look at... <laughs> Dude, shout out to Goresh. He would love this one. with was fucking cooler in there. But yeah, there's a ton... I mean, a ton of artwork. Amazing Keflo and Janemba artwork. Beautiful. Look at that. DBS movie with little kid Vegeta. Uh, this one is part of, actually, like, you know, this DLC based on that. Uh, look at my boy Jiren. He's swole. That was actually... These are all the teaser. Those were the uh, teaser artworks or whatever, which are really cool. Shout out to my boy Yamcha. He finally got something. <laughs> oh, this one's so cute, bro. So adorable. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, these will all, like I said, be unlocked through raids and things. This one is an insane... Yo, that's me, bro. I'm Kaba. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, look at all these. And then, yeah, they have the repeats of the renders from the cutscenes, which look really, really good. Uh, better than, like, you know, all the motion blur that's usually on there that screws it up. But, yeah, um, there's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, I'm not going to go over the specifics of which one's paid or free. You'll find out whenever you do the rates. So, uh, I'm just here to kind of display everything. Hey, that one's sick. Uh, oh, man, I love this one, too, dude. Look at this flying away uh yeah we have a lot i'm glad that uh goku and vegeta got some new super saiyan blue artwork oh this one's classic dude yeah it's just really cool to kind of go through all these this looks so freaking good my god and it's not only that look at the end of z1 hey that's so dope yeah they kind of display it from like all the uh dlc kind of like in order or whatever so those are the main uh the main line of artwork okay now, there are some special artworks that will either be attained through Canton City TV announcements, which we know we're definitely going to be getting more of those, okay? You can see that there are four more here. Those might actually be Canton City TV announcements. There also might be some new ones that are going to be attained through the character, uh, the custom character uh, sort of, uh, what, what is it? The contest that they're doing for the photo mode. As you can see, we actually have those right here. So these, let me show you. So these four were from the previous Content City broadcast that we have. And like I said, there's going to be four more. We have this one. This one's adorable with Vegeta and Kid, uh, little little baby trunks. Uh, I, I think these were new, if I'm not mistaken. I think all of these were new. So we haven't attained these yet, and they're part of the special artwork. So I'm going to assume Content City broadcast. Uh, or these right here, which these are the winners from the Japan version of the character... Uh, I keep wanting to say vote. <laughs> the contest, the um, CAC contest for photo mode. So basically uh, what you'll have to do is you'll have to submit those. Uh, I don't know exactly when the rules are going to go live. They should be live uh, very soon, but this one's amazing, bro. I love this character. These look awesome. If you followed, you, you, you would see. So I'm going to assume that you probably get these whenever the contest goes goes live or something like that or whenever the rule or maybe whenever the contest finishes you'll be able to unlock them but yeah there are only eight winners which are really really sick so those are all of the artworks uh i think for the last thing that i do want to go through is going to be uh super souls i think that's pretty much it uh again if i miss anything let me know that's a modi qq bang by the way guys so don't don't ask about it <laughs> please don't ask about it Let's go ahead and go over all the new stuff here. So uh, I'll just kind of scroll through uh, what I think are new. Uh, we have Pycons, okay, Topos, Kid Gohan, Zarbon, Broly Super Soul, uh, Goku Super Soul. Maybe it starts right here. I don't know. I'll just kind of slowly scroll through these last uh, few, and then you'll probably see, yeah, Super Boost Super Soul. I think that one's new, too. Casserole Super Soul, Dispo Super Soul, and Hercule apparently got a new Super Soul as well. Uh, it must be a trick or something like that. But yeah, guys, uh, in terms of the Super Souls, uh, mainly just do parallel quests, do your raids that are going to be going on, all the new raids, as well as, uh, you know, TP Metal Shop stuff, uh, too. So, uh, last thing that I'm going to show you guys is, uh, a pretty big one. I'll, you know, save it for a separate video as well so that you guys can actually, uh, see everything a lot better. So, uh, let's go ahead and go into our bag and the item list. And we actually have a bunch of new unlock keys. I believe it is starting from 11 through 15. Uh, yes, randomly dropped. I had no idea that they were going to do this. Uh, GT Goku, Omega Shenron, uh, Buhan, as well as Jiren and Kefla. Those will all be brand new through the current raid that is going on right now. The Broly Light Raid, 
go do it. You can unlock all these, and actually pretty quickly. Um, I haven't unlocked all of them yet on my console version, but uh, using you know cheats and stuff, I was able to do it on here. So I'll be doing a different uh, tutorial video for that, where you guys can actually see all the skills and everything. But uh, for now, let me just show you guys something real quick. <laughs> it's too good. So here's the end of Z costume, but. The best thing about this DLC is that we can wear Caulifla and Kale's clothing, bruh. No joke. Like, dead ass. It is the coolest thing ever. Look. Look at this, dude. What is it? It's just, it's just Trunks' tank top, but pink. Same thing with... Oh, dude. Kale's clothing on a dude looks fire. Look at this shit. Look at the Caulifla wig. It's huge. It is massive. Kale's hair is not that big, which is kind of weird. <laughs> it's so good too good all right let's go ahead and do all the skills and stuff hey my boy so with super saiyan god you guys already watched my tutorial probably everyone in their mom's tutorial because everybody literally did a tutorial yeah these look oh my god these look so good dude all right double crush hey that is so sick let's go so yeah fully functional with cac again unlock through pqs you can charge this up this has a lot of damage uh i've been messing around with this skill a lot you can charge, it's, there's a lot of charge up with it. Look at this. Look at this, dude. It just keeps going and going and going. Like, I don't know how long it lasts. Look at that. That's fully charged. <laughs> Look at the damage on that shit. Oh, that looks so sick, dude. The Comet Strike on CAC, it looks amazing. Wow, 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 wow. All right, Impact Flare. Oh, that's so dope. So yeah, you should be able to transport behind the opponent, which is dope, so. This one right here, you can kind of just do one single shot and everything as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to Power Wall. Oh, the animations. It looks so good, dude. Oh, let's go, dude. So I think you can actually... Let me just do a quick test because I think you might be able to uh, block attacks. Now, can it block ultimates? Just a quick test, okay? <laughs> I guess it does. It kind of negates it. Uh, let me use the ultimate attacks here. Yeah. He couldn't even come through. Yeah, he was not even able to <laughs> negate it, dude. That's that's insane. All right, let him use it again. Boom. Oh, wait. No, that wasn't that wasn't the right ability. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm stupid. He, the, I forgot Meteor Explosion uh, is a kick. It's not like an actual, like, attack or whatever. Here. Let's do... Let's just do a super attack. All right. Let's see. What does he have? Does he block it? Yeah, pretty much. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to block shit. All right. That's what it's stated to do. So, uh, other than that, we have our Meteor Explosion that I do want to try out. It's going to go Super Saiyan God with it. Boom. Do we do the arms cross? Oh, it looks so good. I love it, bro. That is dope. That is fucking dope. Oh, my goodness. So with the dude it's pretty much gonna be all the same stuff power wall yeah i mean you get the idea of it it's dope it looks clean as all hell uh other than that let's go and switch over to the kale and cauliflower ultimates and skills as well oh i love this game bro all right guys the cauliflower and kale drip <laughs> I love that you can pretty much just unlock these through the parallel quest. You don't have to wait for raids because these are probably the best ones in my opinion. Hey, that looks so sick whenever they go Super Saiyan. Probably not going to look as good. Oh, wait, what? Is that what that usually does? I guess that makes sense. I, for some reason, I never thought about that. <laughs> I usually never wear wigs. So I completely forgot that when you go Super Saiyan 3, it would just make the wig, <laughs> the wig disappear. I'm a dumbass, bro. All right, so we have the Blaster Cannon. So Blaster Cannon is cool because it can, like, set up this, like, uh, kick in a combo, I think. It's, it's kind of weird to pull off or whatever, but uh, Double Crush again. Boom. What we got going on there. Uh, I do want to use this. Blaster Bomb. Let me actually go Super Saiyan at least with uh, Kale because I know the eyebrows are going to get kind of weird uh, with it or whatever, but oh my god, dude, this looks, oh, it's so good, it's so good, these costumes are amazing, well done, and I'm, I've been wanting these for like years, guys, like you don't understand, yeah, it looks a little bit weird because I have yellow eyebrows, but um, these look great, 
I mean, at least when you go Super Saiyan. Yo, Legendary Super Saiyan when? When? <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look too bad with it. Uh, what else am I missing here? So we did our Blaster Bomb. That one is so cool because it has, like, that explosion. That is dope. Uh, and then, let me get my key up to Unlimited. We have our uh, Crush Stream. Oh, that's so dope. So I think if you're, like, locked off or, like, behind the opponent, it, it like, does something. Or, like, the opponent is, or, like, you're turned around or something like that. I can't even remember. Let me see here. Somebody said that there's, like, some extra thing that you can do with it. I'm not exactly sure what they're talking about, but, um, whatever. Blaster stream. Hold it down. Boom, son. And then you have that nice and clean second input. It's clean. Clean as all hell, fam. Uh, uh. Oh, shit. Now, I'm still kind of confused on what whatever that is that that people say, like, oh, you, there's something else with, like, blaster, or, sorry, crush stream that you do. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> whatever it may be, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's whatever. Uh, blaster stream, again, with our male version. Looks damn good. I love that, like, second kind of part to it. It's really, really cool. But yeah, that's it. All the skills, all the costumes. Again, just do your raids, do your TP Metal Shop, uh, you know, grind and everything. Parallel quest grind, all RNG drop mainly. It is what it is. So thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, ring my notification bell. We got more videos on the way. Peace. <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe or else I'll destroy your entire planet!